हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू प्रिंट अ मैट्रिक्स डायगोनली सो लेट्स सी व्हाट इट मींस सो हियर इज द मैट्रिक्स एंड वी हैव टू प्रिंट ऑल द डायगोनल्स ऑफ द मैट्रिक्स दैट मींस वी हैव टू प्रिंट द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ द मैट्रिक्स डायगोनली सो लेट्स डू दैट सी हियर दिस ए इज द फर्स्ट डायगोनल then f b then k g c then p l h d then q m i e r n j s o and t so see here let's write all the diagonals so a then f b k g c p l h d q m i e r n j s o and t so see here these diagonals start from the elements in the rows means the first elements of the row so a is the first element of the row then f is the first element of the first row k is the first element of the second row and p is the first element of the third row and so these are the diagonals who start from the first element of these rows and these are the diagonals these diagonals they start from the last element of the columns so see here p l h d then q m i e then r n j it starts from here then s o and t so these are the diagonals who start from the last element of these columns these columns so here you can see this diagonal is counted twice because this diagonal starts from the first element of the last row as well as last element of the first column so if you are going to write the formula for the number of diagonals in a matrix whenever we are printing the matrix diagonally then that will be like m plus n where m is the number of rows and n is the number of columns so m plus n minus 1 because this diagonal is counted twice this diagonal is counted twice so we reduce 1 from the total so that we get the number of diagonals okay so that is m plus n minus 1 so let's see the flow so see here whenever we are printing the diagonal we are directing it towards the upside okay so in a matrix suppose this is the matrix and see here i will give the indices 0 1 then 0 1 so this element is 0 0 this is the row number this is the column number 0 1 then 1 0 and 1 1 okay let's uh, just add one more index so that you can better understand see here so 0 1 2 that means this is now 0 0 1 0 2 0 0 0 1 1 1 2 1 0 2 and 0 2 1 2 2 2 so suppose you want to find out a formula for this diagonal flow means in this diagonal c this element is 2 0 
and the next element is 1 1 and then it is 0 2 this is the diagonal so if this is i and this is j okay then the next element is i minus 1 and j plus 1 again see here it is if this is i and this is j if we call this as i and this as j then depending on this element it is i minus 1 and j plus 1 that means if i is equal to i minus 1 and j is equal to j plus 1 then we are finding out the next element in that diagonal so suppose suppose we are here like 2 0 then the next element in this diagonal will be 2 minus 1 that is 1 and 0 plus 1 that is 1 so 1 1 is the next element in this diagonal again the next element 1 minus 1 0 and 1 plus 1 2 so 0 2 this is the 0 2 element so in this way we can write the program for writing all the diagonals now as we can calculate the whole diagonal whenever we are getting the start of the diagonal only job is to loop through all the start elements of the diagonal and just go on decrementing i by minus 1 and incrementing j by plus 1 so that we get all the diagonals up to their end let's write the program for this so see here k is the variable which will trace through every starting of the diagonal see in this matrix the first element of each row is the starting of each diagonal okay and the last element of each column is the starting of each diagonal the remaining diagonals so k is equal to 0 0 to m minus 1 that means if the matrix is m cross n so suppose here see m is 1 2 3 and 4 4 cross and n is 1 2 3 4 5 so it is 4 rows and 5 columns okay so it is a 4 cross 5 matrix see 0 1 2 and 3 are the indices so you have to go from 0 to 3 that is 4 minus 1 so it is written here m minus 1 and then inside first i is equal to k so let's see we are going to trace each element by i and j i will point to the row and j will point to the column so see as this is the first row i will point to k means k is 0 that is the first row and j will point to 0 because it is also the first column every diagonal starts from the first column and kth row means if it is the first diagonal then it will start from the first row then second second row zeroth diagonal then it will start from the zeroth rows first element so i equal to k and j equal to 0 now each diagonal ends at the first row so see here if you take this diagonal this diagonal ends at the first row if you take this diagonal which starts from k it ends in the first row so every diagonal ends in the first row here these diagonals okay and after these diagonals the remaining four diagonals we will see in the next for loop okay this for loop is for all the diagonals which start with the start elements of the rows okay now while i is greater than or equal to 0 that means i does not go below the first row means 
it i goes till the first row now see print m of i j so we have to print that element and then i is equal to i minus 1 and j equal to j plus 1 you know this because uh, if you want to go to the next element of the diagonal you have to do i equal to i minus 1 and j equal to j plus 1 so in this way we print the first four diagonals which start with the first element of the rows now the next diagonal c we printed four diagonals means we printed m diagonals because it is equal to the number of rows now we are going to print n diagonals okay so as this diagonal is repeated we subtract one so now we are going to print n minus one we are not going to print again the repeated diagonal okay now and that is the reason why k starts from zero here and k starts from 1 here okay because we are not repeating this diagonal we are directly starting from here okay the diagonals which start from the last element of these columns so k equal to 1 k is less than or equal to n minus 1 see every diagonal ends in the last column these diagonals see q m i e so that ended in last column then r n j last column s o that is the last column and t so this ends in last column so every diagonal ends in last column so k is less than or equal to n minus 1 n is the number of columns so and k plus plus now i equal to m minus 1 see every diagonal starts in the last row so i is equal to m minus 1 as i represents the row and j is equal to k as you know k will trace the starting of each diagonal so for each diagonal k will change and it will give its value to j so while j is less than or equal to n minus 1 as you know every diagonal ends in the last column print m of i j and i equal to i minus 1 j equal to j plus 1 to get the next element in each diagonal okay so in this way we printed the remaining diagonals these diagonals from this matrix so this is the way how we print all the diagonals in the matrix that is called as printing the matrix diagonally so Let's see in our next video how to print the matrix diagonally and spirally in zigzag way. Hey friends, please subscribe to my channel as I post algorithm videos every day. And if you want a video on any particular topic, then please mention in the comment below. Thank you.